Hey guys, nothingwired.com and we're at the launch of the brand new ThinkPad Yoga. Now that's already in the tent mode there you can see. So like the classic yoga, you can have it in form mode. You've already seen the 270 degree rotating tent mode. That's your typical laptop mode. And then you also have the only viewing mode where the keyboard does not distract you when let's say you're viewing a movie or whatever multimedia content or simply browsing the web and then a totally tablet mode yeah the one enhancement Lenovo made to the ThinkPad yoga in the tablet mode is that you have seen those small stuffs coming out out there out there so the moment you start rotating it to bring it to the tablet mode you would see that the keys will start going into their own grooves and then this thing start coming out to provide a base when you use this tablet now when you keep it on a flat surface those keys are inside so they're not gonna be pressed accidentally and these things provide nice legs for it to have a base on the surface so that your keys don't get scratched that's a very very cool and useful innovation from Lenovo apart from that you've also have a 180 degree design that I can see and then now that came uh, to all the new ThinkPad laptops now even the keyboard is redesigned you have a whole new row here gone and they are like incorporated on the function row on the top now this enable Lenovo to make the keys bigger other changes you don't have the light here lamp here anymore because the keyboard is backlit you can enable it just by tapping the same shortcut keyboard key that used to do to light up the lamp so there you can see now your keyboard is uh, backlit although you probably cannot see here because there is enough light but the keyboard is backlit yeah. the one thing is that they do not have an ambient sensor here near the keyboard so the laptop essentially cannot sense that there is a darkness around and automatically um, light up the backlit LEDs of the keyboard however you have an ambient sensor for the display here so that the brightness adjusts according to um, the light around you have a 720p front camera here and by the way it's a 12.5 inch touchscreen IPS display and uh, it has a Corning Gorilla glass protection and it comes in two variants a full HD display and then an HD plus display the full HD version of course 1920 by 1080 pixels and then an HD plus version which has a maximum resolution of 1366 by 768 so this is the HD plus version but you also get a uh, full HD version of course apart from that you know you have your windows key all right here there is a redesigned trackpad now you have this whole thing going down you have your scroll bar incorporated in this part still you have two mouse demarcated for your right and um yeah left mouse and all the stuff but this is now a trackpad it's and it's made of glass which is like the most premium quality trackpad here another change you will see fundamentally it's not very significant in that the color has gotten a little more grayish than um, the carbon black that you used to see on the older ones so now it's more like a graphite black instead of those carbon black designs then your ThinkPad logo's direction also changed now now whenever you're operating this your ThinkPad is facing upward so your ThinkPad is like in the upright position for the person watching what you're doing out there before it is to be um, in the inverted position the LED light also is incorporated on the eye there you see now that's become really um, a cool feature at the same time the LED lights not taking up an unnecessary space on the whole sassy the frames are very very strong the metal you see they're very very strong metal so how many times in the day um, you turn it to the tablet mode or the other uh, modes this is not gonna deter anymore the battery ram and the hard disk are soldered in it so you have an 8 cell battery and Lenovo promises an 8 hour of battery life um, you cannot remove the ram and the hard disk as I told you just now uh, it comes in various amount of ram various amount of hard disk both in HDD and SSDs yeah, and that will 
um, subsequently lessen or increase your overall cost of ownership of this. Talking about the specs, the new ThinkPad Yoga powers up to a core i7-4500U processor. It has an uh, integrated um, Intel HD Graphics 4400 processor here. There is no dedicated graphics card, mainly to add to the mobility and portability. Um, but then the Intel HD 4400 graphics card is very, very capable of uh, fulfilling your daily business and a little multimedia need. And you have a variety of storage as I told you. This does not have an Ethernet and a VGA port. I'm going to show you the ports in a bit. And uh, you know, then it's powered by Windows 8.1 or an 8.1 Pro, depending on which variant you want. It also has NFC and Bluetooth. Now let's check out the ports here. This port will connect you to the OneLink Pro dock. And then this is your USB 3 port. It'll also charge your mobile phone and other stuff. And uh, this is the microphone jack nothing much on this side also the lock hatch is gone and because of that Lenovo actually had a separate pressure uh, element added to the hinge which actually keeps it closed whenever you close the lid removing the hatch which actually Lenovo says enable them to have a thinner form factor on this side you have space for your optional digitizer here and then your uh, power button, volume rocker, then the screen lock button, here your SD card slot, and then your another USB 3.0 slot, mini HDMI slot, and space for the lock. That's your vent there, and nothing much on this side. So no VGA port, no RJ45 ports, which the business users might need a lot, but then probably they wanted to keep it thinner and Lenovo says that um, having those ports might pose some difficulties in the tablets mode. Yep, so here is the ThinkPad Yoga, our first exclusive look. We'll give you more in-depth review when it comes to our lab and when we have time to play with it for a few days. If you like this video, hit the like button, ask anything in the comment and we'll try our best to answer those and subscribe to Nothing Wired YouTube channel for more such awesome content in future.